Hello everyone. This is the second video in the AIMS May 2018 series. And uh, before we discuss the question for today, uh, a little bit of the introduction about myself. My name is Aditya Gupta. I did my undergraduation from AIMS New Delhi. And in AIMS May 2018 exam, I secured rank 17. And uh, we'll be discussing one question or two questions each every day. So let's begin the discussion of today's question. So the question that I will be discussing today is simple. It's a question of pediatrics or biochemistry. Which of the following can be given to a person suffering from lactase deficiency? And the options were normal milk, skinned milk, yogurt and ice cream. Now let's discuss what actually is lactase deficiency and what can actually be given, which is the question. As you all know, milk contains the milk sugar, which is known as lactose. Lactose is actually a disaccharide. It's a disaccharide and it's converted into its monomeric form, which is glucose and galactose in the brush border epithelium of intestine by this enzyme. This lactase acts on lactose to convert it into glucose and galactose, the monomeric forms of the disaccharide lactose. And this glucose and galactose are then absorbed by the small intestine. What happens in a person who's suffering from lactase deficiency, that lactase is absent. Hence, that lactose cannot be converted into glucose and galactose. This conversion does not take place. And hence what happens is that lactose, it gets accumulated in the small intestine. This disaccharide gets accumulated in the small intestine whenever a person takes any product containing milk or any product which has lactose. Now when it gets accumulated in a small intestine, lactose is an osmotically active molecule. It's an osmotically active molecule. So what happens is that it draws water towards itself. It draws water into the lumen of the small intestine. And this results in the symptoms of the lactase deficiency, the disease. And the symptoms of the lactase deficiency are bloating and diarrhea. So this is what happens when a person who has lactase deficiency takes any food product containing lactose that does not get absorbed, it draws water and that person gets bloating and diarrhea. A person who is suffering from lactase deficiency cannot be given any product and should not be given any product that contains lactose and that is the key to solving this question any any of these products which contains lactose cannot be given to a person who has lactase deficiency and the question asks which can be given now we can easily rule out two options in this question the first is normal milk you cannot give milk milk has lactose you cannot give milk and the person will suffer from diarrhea and bloating you cannot give milk and similarly you cannot give ice cream to a person this person why because ice cream is nothing but frozen milk along with the flavoring and the sugar, be it chocolate or be it vanilla, you cannot give ice cream, you cannot give milk. Now the people can be confused, can easily be confused between whether yogurt can be given or whether skin milk can be given. And now let's see which of the two forms can be given. If you've ever gone to take milk from any dairy, you will realize that there's, there's full cream milk, there is skimmed milk, there's toned milk, there's double toned milk. Now what does that skimmed milk mean and what does that full cream milk mean? Skimmed milk essentially means that the fat has been taken down. It's the milk which has lower fat content. But does that mean it contains no lactose? No. This still has lactose. Lactose is still present in skimmed milk. So skimmed milk cannot be given to a person who has lactase deficiency. So we can rule this option out also. And the our correct answer is yogurt in this case. Now what exactly is yogurt? Yogurt is something which we know as Dahi in Hindi. What happens in case of formation of yogurt is that lactose, which is present in milk, is fermented by lactobacilli into lactic acid. The lactose is converted into lactic acid by lactobacilli and this results in formation from milk to yogurt. So is the lactose content getting reduced? Yes, definitely. The lactose is being converted into lactic acid. Lactose is getting reduced. Hence, yogurt can easily be given to a person who has lactase deficiency. And that becomes our answer in this question. Which of the following can be given to a person suffering from lactase deficiency? And the answer is yogurt. I hope you liked the video and stay tuned for tomorrow when I'll discuss another question of AIMS May 2018 for postgraduate entrance examination. Thank you.